Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod review. Today I've got a nice little treat for you guys, a brand new mod release by myself, known as the Handmade Rocket Rifle, again by Degenerate Back. This is going to add a brand new lore friendly scrappy weapon into the game that's going to make use of an interesting new ammo type. Now, I really wanted to test myself on this one and see if I could make a mod within a very short time frame, and I actually threw this whole thing together in just a couple of days. Sadly, the release did get delayed a few days because I had a very, very busy weekend, but now we are here to showcase this mod, and it is available right now. You can go ahead and download this thing for yourself, but if you want to get all the information about it first, go ahead and sit tight so we can go through it right now. First of all, this thing is going to be a pretty interesting weapon, firing rockets from a rifle rather than a heavy weapon, and it's going to use vanilla animations, of course, at least heavily tweaked vanilla animations, thanks to user Diacute for making those. This is going to make use of double barrel animations at its core, and it's going to involve you using a break action rocket rifle. This thing was a lot of fun to make, and it's a proof of concept to show what can be done with that asset pack I released a while back. For those who are unaware, I released a little pack of assets, different gubbins and pieces that you can throw on to your mods rather than needing to source down NIFs in the vanilla game or making them yourself. So I wanted to show what you could actually make with this. And so this weapon is pretty much 99% vanilla assets or parts of that asset pack. There are only two custom assets in this mod. One of them is completely custom and the other one is part of another project I'm working on. Now, enough about the backstory, let's talk about the weapon itself. Essentially, this is going to be an early game alternative to the missile launcher, and it performs exactly so. It does half the damage of the typical missile launcher, and it will spawn about twice as early. The normal missile launcher starts spawning in the world around level 15, and this one will start spawning in the world after level 8, and it has a chance to spawn on raider bosses, gunner bosses, and even the occasional Minutemen, people who would make use of a scrappy weapon like this for the case of dealing some pretty significant damage. Now, balance was definitely what I had in mind when making this thing, as implementing an early game explosive weapon is a pretty difficult thing to do, but I think I got it just about right. First of all, this weapon is break action, so you're going to have to reload after every shot, and unlike the missile launcher, there is no magazine upgrade so that you can fire multiple rounds. It's always going to be one shot at a time. Additionally, this thing will scale with the Demolition Expert perk, so you're going to need to upgrade your explosive skill in order to be better at using this explosive device. It's not going to work off of rifleman perks, even though it is a rifle. Now, the big thing about balancing that is not yet implemented is the ammo type. As of right now, it actually makes use of the vanilla missile ammo type, despite using its own custom projectile. It's actually supposed to use the rocket ammo type from Munitions, which is going to be the New Vegas rocket, if you may remember from the Red Glare or the rocket launcher from the Losom Road DLC. Well, sadly, that update of munitions is not out just quite yet, so instead it's going to be using missiles as its ammo type for its current release. But once the next munition update comes out, there will be a version of this that will make use of the proper ammo type that it's supposed to use. At the very least right now, the projectile is correct and you can see that in game. There are a handful of upgrades for this thing over at the weapons workbench, some offering some nice cosmetics and others offering some cool utility options. And on top of that, there's also a unique version of this weapon that can be found that will have a unique projectile that I think makes it pretty cool and pretty fun to use. I think that covers just about all of the basic information. Let's go ahead and check this thing out in game to get a look at some of its finer details, starting off with its stats. So here we have the most basic version of the handmade rocket rifle. As you can see here, this thing is very basic, just a little pistol grip stock and not much else to it. This thing has a base damage of 80, again, half that of the regular missile launcher in the game. It does use missiles for now. Like I said, it will be switched to rockets at a later date. has a fire rate of 3 since it is break action, a range of 47, an accuracy of 78, a weight of 9.8 pounds, and a value of 58 caps. Overall, in my opinion, some pretty balanced stats given what the weapon is. Ideally, when the rocket ammo type comes out, it should make the ammo a little bit more scarce as well, so you can't be using this thing just all the time. Now, credit where credit is due, I do want to show off the custom animations for this. While they are mostly vanilla, there is one small tweak to this thing made by Diacute to make this thing actually function. It does use the double barrel animations, but when you shoot it, you'll notice that it does not eject the old rocket. That's the problem with the vanilla animation. If it was using purely vanilla animations, the rocket would pop out even though we just fired it. So that would have been a serious issue. 
Now then, let's talk about accuracy. This thing is pretty interesting considering in its most basic configuration, it has no sights. You're really going to have to guess with this thing. So sights are definitely an upgrade that you're going to want to get pretty quick. So let's see if we can actually hit these targets. Luckily, it is an AOE weapon. Starting off with close range, we hit the target no problem, but sighting in at longer ranges may be a bit difficult. I'll try not to use my crosshairs to cheat. We did hit that one directly, not too bad. And then the last one, we actually did hit. Wow, I'm pretty surprised. Even if we didn't hit him directly, the AOE should have killed him regardless. But still, pretty dang neat. This is definitely usable with no sights, though I recommend putting them on ASAP, especially if you want to use this at longer ranges. Now, before we move on to the weapons workbench to check out those attachments, we need to talk about the unique variant added in this mod, known as Exposure Therapy. A little bit of a double pun there for you, and you can thank Crash, the author of Munitions, for that name. Now, this is going to be a unique radiation-based version of the rocket rifle. As you can see, it does have the effect adding 50 points of additional radiation damage, and it does have a significant increase to its base damage, going from 80 to 215. And the reason for this is because rather than regular old rockets, this thing shoots out nukes. Well, mini nukes. Well, mini, mini nukes. It's not mini nukes, but rather a very, very small version of it. I'll show you what I mean right now. So here we are with exposure therapy, and when we fire this thing, you'll see we get a nice little nuclear explosion. And while that blast radius is pretty big, the damage again is only 200, far less than that of a fat man. So it's not too terribly imbalanced. Plus, you're going to have to go through a little bit of effort to get this thing. If you want to get your hands on the unique variant, you're going to have to head over to the furthest bottom left corner of the map to the location known as the Rocky Cave. But if you've gotten this far in the main quest, you'll know this as Virgil's Laboratory. Simply head inside, and once you actually get in, you're going to need to head all the way to the back of his little home. So realistically, you're not going to be getting this thing very early on in the game. I suppose you could trek all the way through the glowing sea, but doing so at an early level could prove to be pretty difficult. Once you get here though, on top of the chest, you will find Exposure Therapy. Now then, let's head over to the weapons workbench to see all the attachments for the rocket rifle as well as exposure therapy as it does have some very slight alterations. Starting off with what is essentially the receiver section, we have the rocket section where you can upgrade the power of the rockets to increase the damage. So we have standard rockets, improved rockets, superior rockets, and advanced rockets. Now you'll notice that the damage doesn't actually go up a whole lot. And the reason for this is the same reason that it works this way for the vanilla missile launcher. The base damage of the missile launcher is actually 15, and for this weapon, it's 15 as well. All of that damage actually comes from the projectile of the weapon, which is not affected by stats whatsoever. But whenever you do throw on your Demolition Expert perk, you do get a pretty significant damage increase. It's just not going to scale massively like the other weapons in the game, meaning this thing isn't going to become very overpowered very quickly. So it's a little bit of a balancing act. You do get a damage increase, but it's not going to be absolutely insane like some of the other weapons in this game. Now then, moving on to the stock section, this is where we have the most options. We have the short stock, of course, the full stock, the marksman stock, the comfort stock, which is a one of the only custom assets in this mod. Everything else comes from vanilla assets or my little asset pack and then we have the heavy stock as well which believe it or not this is a vanilla asset and I have to say it's probably one of my favorite stocks on this weapon moving on we have the site category we have the standard sites which is actually no sites at all and then we do have a set of basic iron sites which will add a little bit of a grouping for you using the gunner site from the minigun and then we have an improved version of that site which will get a bit narrower and then the best version being the reflex site thanks to pig for this little nif bash here and this will be an actual dot that you can aim with which allows you to be much more precise but in case you want to get even better than that we do have a little side mounted short scope as well. And then finally, we have the muzzle section where we do have a couple of options. We have no muzzle, of course, a stabilizer, which will function just like the vanilla missile launchers and a bayonet, which looks mighty menacing on this weapon. Now, when it comes to exposure therapy, everything here is exactly the same. The only difference is that you can't actually equip sights to this weapon. And there's two reasons for that. The main one is actually because it 
has a lot of the sights clipping with the assets on the barrel here. But the other reason is because firing long range nukes just seems a bit OP and you can get this weapon pretty early if you really try to. So you are going to have to guess where you're shooting with this thing just a little bit. Now then, we're moving on to today's damage test, and you'll notice things are a bit different as we're not using a Deathclaw as our damage baseline. Well, weirdly enough, the Deathclaws seem to have a pretty high explosive resistance and fared pretty well against this thing, and it required us to shoot it uh, a ridiculous amount of time. So instead of that, we'll be using little gunners here to show how this affects uh, normal combatants that you'll be fighting more often. So we'll be doing a basic test with no attachments and no perks and then a fully upgraded version of the weapon. And then finally, of course, we'll be checking out that unique variant to see how it performs as well. So starting on the left here with the regular version of the rocket rifle, let's see how it does. And you'll see it doesn't actually kill the gunner right away. It's going to take us two shots, which is pretty interesting. This is not supposed to be a late game, very high explosive weapon. It's just a really interesting way to add an early game explosive to the game. You'll notice that we kind of goofed by doing some damage to this gunner. So we'll move on to this one as our next target. And then we'll spawn a new one for the unique variant. So here's a fully upgraded version of the rocket rifle. You'll see it does do a bit of increased damage, but not enough to get us to less shots. It is still going to take two shots for that gunner. If you were to throw in your demolition expert perk, though, it would definitely be a one shot. So uh, let's get rid of this guy and get us a new gunner to test out exposure therapy, which is going to be definitely a one shot kill considering it is firing many, many nukes. So yeah, that is the handmade rocket rifle. This mob was supposed to come out way sooner, but I got sidetracked with life and this weekend, like I said, was very, very busy. But now it is out. You can download it right now on PC and I'm sure there will be a port to Xbox very, very soon. It will be linked down in the description if you'd like to try it out for yourself. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed the mod and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to drop a rating. It really helps out the channel and consider subscribing for more videos just like this. As always, a big shout out to all of my patrons and a very special thank you to Avian4, Captain Chaos, Freedom, Glasma, Helljumper, Indecisive Wolf, Kid Hades, Cushy, Logan, Rigmaiden, Micro Han, Moonlit Gamer, Oscar, Scott, Sterling, Steven, Timmy76, YouthRC, and Voider for joining that Tier 3 Patreon membership. If you'd like to support the channel over on Patreon, you can do so using the link down in the description, but it is completely optional. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace!